Global 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news story has national implications. A federal judge in Texas has ruled the Affordable Care Act unconstitutional. The deadline to enroll in the ACA is tomorrow, but this ruling will not affect that deadline or your ability to enroll. Mar McDonald is live downtown tonight. Mara, 20 states with Republican attorney generals, attorneys general uh, brought this lawsuit, but Michigan was not one of them. That's right, Kimberly. Bill Schuette did not sign on to this, but what those 20 attorney generals or attorneys general are saying is essentially this. Because Congress decided to do away with the individual mandate, meaning if I'm uninsured and I don't want to buy health insurance, I'm no longer going to be financially penalized for it. Because Congress did that, the whole thing is unconstitutional. So now what? Well, for starters, your ability to get health care through the ACA is still here. And if you need to enroll and haven't already, you can. The judge's ruling does not include an injunction, so the ACA continues while the legalities get fought out. Tonight, the president has already tweeted. As I predicted all along, Obamacare has been struck down as an unconstitutional disaster. Now Congress must pass a strong law that provides great health care and protects pre-existing conditions. Mitch and Nancy, get it done. But first, the ruling will be appealed to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, which will then turn it over to the Supreme Court. The federal judge in Texas is saying this, because you no longer are required to buy health insurance through the ACA, if you don't have it, and there is no penalty, the law is unconstitutional, and here's why. When the Supreme Court upheld the original ACA, it did so by using the rationale the government has the ability to do this because of its taxing authority. The government is no longer taxing you if you don't comply with the law. Without what's called that individual mandate, the judge says the whole thing is void. Back here live, Bill Schuette may not have been involved in this and decided not to involve Michigan in it, but incoming AG Dana Nessel tweeted out tonight that she is going to join with 16 other AGs who are Democrats and fight for keeping Obamacare or the ACA as is. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.